Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to update the MiU Mini Plus. So there's a new firmware that's came out for it. So we'll have a look at that. So you have to scroll on to apps and then you have to go down to firmware update. There you go, Onion OTA update. So if we go in here, I'll first show you that I am on the 4.2.0 release candidate version. So if we go into beta, which was the, the test version, and I think most people were probably running on this. You can see there's no up-to-date version for this, but I'm on 4.2.0-RC. So I can escape from there. We'll load up the update again. And this time we'll pick the stable release. And as you can see here, there's an update available. 4.2.1, and it's in the stable channel. So we will press continue to install that. And it's 399.98 megabytes, in fact. So make sure you've got some space. I should have a couple of gig free on mine. And this will automatically down, download. Now, I've seen a few people post that they've had issues. Um, the simple solution is just restart your device and try and install it again. So just take a little while to download. Now, you will need to set your Wi-Fi up on your device. Hopefully, you've done that already. Hopefully, you're using the um, retro achievements. It's one of the strong points of the MiU Mini. See, so it's downloading here. It's 1%. 2%, so it's slowly adding up. This will take a few minutes to download. I've not got a super fast internet connection out here, so. What I'll do is I'll fast forward to the end of this. Although it appears, I may was stuck on 3%. It's still downloading though, so we'll, we'll give it some time. So I'll just fast forward this next phase and we'll rejoin once it's downloaded the whole thing. Now we're approaching 100% now, download done. That took about 10 minutes to download. The first 50% took forever and the second 50% was much, much quicker. So, do you want to apply it? Automatically defaults to no, so we'll go down to yes and press the A button. And this will unzip the update and apply it. Now this should, in theory, just update the, firm, or the firmware for the uh, Onion OS shouldn't zap any of your games or anything else you've stored in it or in your layout but we'll check that in a moment okay so that is now everything done and it wants to reboot so 4.2.1 applied and press A to reboot so we'll do that now as you can see at the top here 4.2.1 and it's updating the, a fresh onion for us now. Now it's always worth making sure you've definitely got plenty of space for applying these updates. Now I've got a, I think it's a 128 gig card in here. And it is almost full. There's only, I think maybe 2 gig free on it. That's because I've not just got games in it. I've also installed some videos that I can play through video player. And here we go, it's now applied and it's just loaded in all the different emulators that I've already installed. Another little restart by the looks of it and it, that should be us ready to go. Now that was quite a quick process, I would say it was about 20 minutes start to finish. Most of that time was just downloading the update. And it just does all by itself, that's the best thing about this. 
There's no updating via another PC, putting stuff on your SD card and plugging it back in. You just do it all wirelessly, which is fantastic. And this looks like it's, uh, it's all good. So if I go to favourites, I should have a list of favourites that I've saved in there. Recent. It's even still got all my recent stuff. Games. If I have a look on my games, I should still have all my scraped files. That's good. Excellent. Expert view. I've got um, a different main version in there, which I use sometimes. And if we go down to Onion Update again, we should see that we're on the latest version once it's going to be scanned. And there we have it. We're on the latest version. 4.2.1. If you've not already updated, I think you should. The uh, 4.2.0 was actually a pretty good uh, operating system, I felt. So 4.2.1 can only be an improvement. So have a go, see how you get on. Hope you enjoy playing on your Miu Mini. And remember, like, share and subscribe. I'm uh, well on my way to 1,000 subscribers. And uh, I've got some more hardware arriving soon. One piece of hardware that's going to be getting compared with this. And the SF2000, so stick around for that. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.